Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a quick review of some headphones. Now, some of you that have followed my channel know I was going back and forth. It's hard to decide. Like, my daughter has the Sennheiser 599s. Now, I like those a lot. And they're really reasonable. They're like 150 But... Sometimes they're not those the Sennheisers are open back so you know you get the leakage of the sound all your surroundings comes in and your music goes out so that doesn't work for an office you know you don't want to be disturbing your co-workers or whatever so a lot of people now are going for closed back and noise canceling so I was kind of looking in that direction and I've had some Bose speakers that I really liked from a long time ago. I think they're really quality. So originally I was looking at the Bose, the 700, um, Bose 700s. And they retail for like 400 bucks, you know. So that's a pretty penny, I thought, to spend on some headphones. But I mean, it's worth it if they're really that good. But I went over to Best Buy. I'm not sponsored by any of these people, unfortunately. Best Buy he had a pretty good selection of different brands. They had some of the lower end Sennheisers, not the 599s though. They had some Audio Technicas. They had some uh, JBLs. They had, of course, a bunch of Sonys and a bunch of Bose. And they had Beats. And some others, you know, but those are like the main contenders I was looking at. Which, you know, I buy a lot of stuff online. I love shopping online and reading the reviews. But, you know, when you got headphones and they're all about the same stars and they all got a million reviews, it's really hard. Like, music and the way it interacts with your ear, you know, it's kind of like a matter of taste. It's like... You could look at a computer chart, you could look at a lot of things that isn't going to exactly tell you how it's going to sound for you. So that's where like trying it on in person, although it's kind of germy like, I mean that does cross your mind when you go there. But I don't know how else to do it unless you buy them and send them back about a million times, I don't know. So anyway, I bit the bullet, went over to Best Buy and I was trying them. And I kept going back and forth between the Sony and the Bose. And even the Bose 35s are pretty good. But this is what I decided on anyway. And that's the uh, WH-1000X M3s. I guess they're going to come out with M4 eventually as a reading. So um, they had these on sale for $275, which was $70 off, they were saying. It's not cheap, but it, it's not the level of the Bose 700, $400 price tag, you know. So this is a little bit cheaper. And I'll just show you some of the stuff. Like they give you a nice little, it's fairly sturdy, like a hard kind of case. But with the, you know, it's pretty good. You got a little pocket thing here. I mean, obviously you're not uh, buying headphones for the, for the bag, but I mean, it all comes into play. I do like the carrying strap. It's got a nifty little zipper here. And that's the cool thing about these. Um, they are pretty portable. Yeah, it shows you exactly how they go in there. And it's a, it's a pretty convenient little bag, I think. You can put all your cords and things in there, whatever you need. It charges USB, of course. So here they are. Now, let me just say I'm not sponsored by Sony, but there's a couple features that I really did like. And, like, this is one of them where you can just, like, you know, like like a studio, you know, in the studio or whatever. So, But sitting here at my desk, I find I use it a lot, actually, because I don't keep them on the whole time. Sometimes I just want to catch something and uh, look something up quick on a video and you want to hear what they're saying. You don't want to take time to put them on or whatever. So I think that's kind of a convenient thing. 
Um, I really do like how solid the clicks are on the band here. You can hear it. Those hold real good. Look at the padding up here. I mean, that is substantial. Now, I will say, I think the Sennheisers, for a lot less money, have a great sound, but also, I like the cloth. They have like that crushed velvet, I don't know how to describe it, soft cloth on the Sennheisers. The Sennheisers are the most comfortable, I say, because of that soft. This is all right, this leather, fake leather, I don't know what it is, I'm sure it's probably some fake, but it's okay, especially probably if you want to share them with somebody, you probably don't want to get the oils, the face oils or whatever in the cloth fabric like the the um, Sennheisers, but the Sennheiser, I think that the cloth actually feels better. This, when you put it on, okay, you get Sometimes, you know how leather after a while, when it, it takes a little while to um, to form properly to your face or whatever. And some, there's a little bit of movement. So sometimes you will hear that in the first little while when you um, put them on. And especially when they were new, I could tell that. It seems like it's getting better, it, the leather noise, you know. Um, another feature I really like about this is how you can control it. You know, like volume is just simple. You slide up and down or taps. And so there's a lot of different easy controls just by how you manipulate the side thing. As far as controls on the thing, there's basically just an on off and then the, um, the uh, ambient noise canceling on and off. So you got your power, your noise canceling. That's the, the, the buttons, right? But everything else you control, like you can do with taps and slides and such on the outside here. And I thought that was pretty cool, you know. Now, another feature that really sold me on it is the phone app. I think is really pretty cool. And one of the best things on the phone app is they have a decent little um, equalizer. As far as like the sound, it's almost impossible, at least for me, when I was at Best Buy. You know, it, it was difficult to judge which one sounds the best necessarily at Best Buy, and I'll tell you why. And it's for, at least for me, when I would hear it, it's kind of like it gives you a sound photograph, like a sound picture in your mind of how the sound is, right? But the second you take them off, it's kind of like those um, Instamatic pictures, how they develop. Well, this, the sound kind of does the opposite of that. The picture kind of deteriorates right before your eyes because you start forgetting how the thing sounded. So, like if you were going to try the Sony and then you're going to, of course, you got to take them off, set them down, then go over, get the bows, put it on, start the song, and... The killer part is it's always a different song, say, so you don't have apples to apples to compare it. And there's a time in between versus like if you were buying speakers, you know, you could have speak, you know, speaker A on, then switch A, B, A, B to the second pair and go back and forth. So it's immediate. You can tell this one's better on the lows, this one's better on the highs. It's it's different, especially when you're playing different songs and they're a little bit of time apart, you know, between your hearing it. So, but just the point that it's a different song, it's totally mixed different. So it's like, you know, you just have to kind of go with the best uh, gut level impressions, I think, you know. Um, but I think having the EQ really um, makes a big difference because then... You can, you know, up your highs or up your bass, up your, you know, whatever you need. Cut some of the bass out, you know. And to me, that's worth a lot. So I, I haven't had any issues with them. I think the battery life has been great. I think the sound is great. I'm very happy with it. 
going back and forth, the one thing I could notice, and it stood out, was the Sony, in my opinion, had a lot better noise canceling. When you put the Sony on, and, I mean, it was just like, you know, like when you're little kids and you stuff your, you just, it's, it's quieter than that. It's like, it's like you've, you went into one of those like, um, submarine things and they shut the hatches. I mean, it's dampened totally, even in Best Buy with all the ambient noise. You know, you're talking a lot of hustle and bustle and people moving around and cash registers and things dinging and this and that. It's like, just like, boom, you pull them on. It's uncanny how quiet. And, um, you know, if you're a student, say, and or in an office, and you are easily distracted, these might be worth your their weight in gold because you can just sit there with them on and cancel that noise out and actually be able to concentrate you don't even have to be playing anything it, it makes a big of a difference to me it's amazing i i think of course you can adjust it with the app and they have different you know settings and but um, when you have it on like full and just like manual or whatever, and somebody can be coming up to, <laughs> up to you and like talking, and it's the weirdest thing because you see their lips move, but you're not hearing anything. It's just like, so I could see like you know, a husband and wife, if one or the other gets one of these, the person's going to feel like they've, They've been abandoned because it's like you're going to have to go in there and tap them. And uh, so like the other um, night I was listening, the first night when I got them, he was laying, I was listening, so I didn't expect like anybody coming in or anything. And um, Ben needed something and he gave me a little poke and I'm telling you, I jumped. It was like a ghost, <laughs> you know, it's like I did not hear anything and he's like, I'm like, hey, why'd you just come in here and poke me? He's like, I've been saying, dad, 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 right? And you, you know, it's not even that I had the music cranked that loud or anything. It's just like it, it just cuts out that, that ambient sound. So now that may not be good for some people want to hear what's going on around them, you know. Um, but I have to say, I am impressed. I'm not trying to shill for Sony. I mean, I don't care what brand. You, let me know if you if you got these and you think they suck. Let me know if you think they're great. Whatever. Let me know. But I was going to say that what I like about them, what I've noticed, even listening to older tracks, is the way these separate spatially the instrumentation and the singers and the whole sound stage to me I thought was very good with the Sony's I was very happy with you know seeing everything now the Sennheiser's the 599's do an excellent job on that as well so um you know I would give both of them a thumbs up for the money the Sennheiser um the most comfortable I think uh those are just butter soft with the with the ear um muff stuff that's the fabric i just love those just are very light and very comfortable but they are corded they're not cordless these of course are cordless but you can use a cord in them um another thing the lady and i didn't verify this but i think i've heard of it before is these use your standard uh three and a half in three and a half millimeter you know, your standard that you can plug these into a phone, you can plug it into your laptop. It's if you ruin the cord, you know, through use or whatever, the cords aren't god awful expensive. Versus, I hear that the uh, bows, and you'd have to verify this, but this is just what I've heard that the bows uses an off size, so then you're stuck buying the bows cord. So, I, I don't like stuff like that if that's the way it is. Could be wrong, so if anybody knows definitively, let me know. So overall, I would say the Sennheisers feel a little bit better. I would say they both sound great. Obviously, this is going to noise cancel better than the Sennheisers. 
um, as far as the 599s because they are corded open back so they're not going to be um, they're not you know they're not exactly apples to apples but I just some people may that's the situation I found myself in so um, anyways you guys if you got any questions I know I can't cover everything in just a short video so feel free to hit me up in the comment section I can always make another video I can you know whatever I can do to answer your questions or impressions of it down the road so um, I love interacting with you guys and I appreciate you stopping by and checking out my review till next time we'll see us